Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I create my notes in Notion. What I wanted to do in Notion was just to replicate exactly what I do if I was using a sort of normal notebook to do my handwritten notes. The main benefit for using Notion is that I can combine all the notes I've got into one sort of master task list. The amount of times that I kind of have to or had to flick back and forth through my notes to find tasks which I hadn't quite completed it or to look at you know the meeting notes for a meeting that I had two weeks ago to see if I've done all the tasks there was a bit cumbersome so the way I'm going to show you in Notion is that you can create daily notes or notes from basically whenever you had them and it basically syncs up all the tasks that you've done or need to do into a sort of master task list so let's get started. So this is my homepage. Ignore all the tabs which I've got here. These are just my sort of notes. You can create this any way which you want. So if I just start here, I'm going to create a new page. So I'll call this uh, YouTube notes example. And what I want to do here, this is a new feature, is I want to add what we call here a uh, what's it called? A synced block. So this is brand new. So basically, what this does is anywhere that which you've got this, you can copy this block, and it will always stay up to date. So I'm going to create this synced block as a master to-do list. So if I create a uh, table. And call this master to do list. So this way I can put any task I want and I can create additional columns. So let's put tags here um, project. We can create different tags like project A and project B. And we can also create a relation column. So I'll create this later. So basically we can select the notes which is related to the task at hand. So let's just call this task um, A, and call this task B. And let's do project B, create. So this is our synced blog. So what we're gonna do here is create another table. Um, and this time we're going to call this um, calendar. I'm going to click here and go add view and I want to create a calendar view. So I'll just call this uh, calendar view. If you click here in the top, hand, top right hand corner, you can make it a full width page just to make more use of the screen real estate. So basically here, say I wanted to create a note today, Saturday the 7th, I can just click here, add an item, and I can create a new note. So let's just call this note, and let's give it a date, let's give it a date of today's date, so 7.08.21, and then we can just start writing notes. But before we do that, if we go back here and go to our sort of master to-do list, or this synced block, it tells us that we can copy and sync right here. So let's just copy that, and then if we go back to the note which we just created on today's date, we can paste it. So these are all the tasks which we've got in the master to-do list, and say we're creating a note here, um, meet, let's just call this uh, meeting notes, and we've got, say, a headline task, which is to, I don't know, design the steel structure. Okay, so we've got design steel structure, but we've got subtasks here, which could be check footings, check dynamics, and check stability. So these are the subheadings. So what we can do here is, okay, we've got this sort of headline task which we need to do which is design a steel structure but instead of needing to put all the sub tasks into the main to-do list we can just say design 
steel oops, design, steel structure, and say this is for project C. So right here we can go project C, create new project C. So if we create a relation, we want to find this calendar. So if we go here, calendar, and it's picked up two calendars. So basically I've got a calendar for my main work or it's the calendar which I've just created. So we'll click this calendar and basically it can find any note which I've created within this within this kind of uh, notes area. Um, so if I just write notes in the header, I can essentially find the related note related to this task, design still structure. So I can just find it and it's here, note 708.21, that's it. So if I close this down, you can see that in the master to-do list on my main page, it's updated my task list with this design still structure. So if I was to do the same thing, I can create a new item, I can paste the master to-do list and I can just do it again and say, I've got main task B, which is, I don't know, design retaining wall for project A. I can here add retaining wall design, design retaining wall. I've already created project A, so all I've got to do is just click project A. Let's give this note a title. So what's the date today? So it's going to be note uh, 13 August 21. And if I go into the notes related column, I can find that page here. So that way, when I go back to my main main page master task list, it's all been updated here. And what I can do is I can also create a checklist. So checkbox here and just say done. And basically I can, once I've done it, I can tick it off. Now, if you, what you would probably want to do is once you've checked it and done the task, you want it to disappear from your main task. So all you gotta do is click on these three dots here and just go to filter. You can add filter. And what you gotta do is go find the done checkbox column and it will hide or show all the ones which have been marked on. So because I've done them, it hides them all. So let's just quickly do that. Might have to change the filter because this is actually what I really want. So what it's gonna do is, if I've done the task, it's gonna disappear. So say I've done task A, check it, and it's gone. It's gone from the view, but if you still wanted to find it, it hasn't permanently deleted it. And this is basically how I do my notes. It's really simple. I think before I tried to make it almost too complicated. And um, what this does is it gives me a really quick overview of all the tasks which I need to do. And if I say design retaining wall, and you know, instead of coming down to the calendar view and trying to remember which which note it was, I you know had to design the meeting notes for, and where I had a subtask or if I had any notes related to that task, I might have put it in the meeting notes. Instead of trying to find it in the calendar, because I've already linked it to the notes in the master task list, I can just click on the note here and it jumps straight into that page. So like say designing steel structure task, if I go into note seven here, this is where I've got all those sort of sub tasks which I need to find. So it's all really cleverly linked. And I think this is a much simpler way of doing my notes and it's just a slightly more, I guess, cleverer way of doing it than doing it by, you know, in a normal notebook. In a normal notebook, you'd be, you know, going onto the next page whenever you've got a new meeting and you may not have done all the tasks yet. So you're constantly trying to flip back and forth, trying to find that project, trying to find that meeting note. Did you do that task? Whereas here, it's all on one page. And if you're kind of, you know, if you're making notes on a daily basis, it's really easy to sort of track where you've got new tasks and really keep organized. Anyway, so hopefully you found this video useful. Please remember to like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers.